Hey, sorry guys, I kind of messed up there, but um, uh, here's part two. So here we go. Uh, like I said, 25, FH, FG, GH were our segments in order. Uh, we basically just had to set up all those angles, set them equal to 180, find out what X is, plug it back in, and then kind of figure out which one's across from each other. Um, 26, we do the same thing. We add up all the sides and set it equal to the perimeter, which is 58. Um, and for 26, we end up with a picture that looks like this. Um, a, M, and K. And we got 23 over here, 17 here, and 18 here. So the smallest angle is going to be angle A, it's opposite, angle K, and then the largest angle is going to be angle M. Okay? So there you go. Uh, 27, we did this in class with everybody, but the answer is AC. And if you have trouble with that, make sure you come in or ask questions on the day. Okay? All right. Moving along, number 28, we have uh, an isosceles triangle. And it tells me that LM and LP, and we want to find the length of MP. Okay, so LM and LP. So LM is going to be uh, 3, uh, 2x plus 4. And then we have... Uh, LP, which is down here, which is going to be 3x minus 2. This is also going to be 2x plus 4. They're congruent to each other. And then the perimeter is 55. So we're just going to add up all of these and set them equal to 55, the perimeter. Again, we're not going to set it equal to 180. Those are angles only. So we got a lot of... There we go. And simplify, we got 2x, 2x, and 3x. Let's use a different color here. Uh, that's going to be 7x. And then we have 4 plus 4, which is 8, minus 2 is going to be 6, equals 55. Okay, subtract 6 from 55, um, and we're going to get 49. And then x is going to equal 7. And uh, it didn't ask me to find just x. That was a piece of it. Then it said find mp. Okay, well, MP is the 2X plus 4, so MP equals 2 times 7 plus 4. So that's going to be 14 plus 4, or MP equals 18. Number 29, this is an exterior angles theorem. Uh, we essentially set up the equation where the two remote interiors, uh, so 29, the two remote interiors, add up to equal the exterior angle. So we get 32 plus 2x equals 7x minus 8. You do the math, you get x equals 8. Then you plug it back in for the appropriate angle and the measure of angle ABF equals 48 degrees. Okay. Last uh, three questions here, 30 to 32. We're trying to explain why the triangles are congruent, so let's go ahead and do that on the last page here. Uh, 30, we're given a triangle that looks like this. We're told that they're right triangles. We're told that this is a midpoint, so we're going to say that this is true by side angle side. Side angle side, there you go, side angle side. And when we say what triangle is it to, we got GRT. And the uh, corresponding angles would be HRT. 31. We're going to be uh, two triangles here. And it tells me that T and R are congruent. And we know that TD and DR are congruent. And then vertical angles are congruent. So this is side angle side. And it says triangle KDT is congruent to triangle. Uh, this is going to be <clears throat> uh, GT, no, sorry, GRD. GRD. And last one, 32. Again, kind of looks like the same picture here, sort of. And what we want to do. It get is F is the midpoint, 
of both of them. So we're going to get this equals this, this equals this, and we have vertical angles, so we're going to get side angle side and triangle F R Q is congruent to, and that's going to be F because they share F right there. And then uh, G is going to correspond to Q, so G is going to go in the back, and R corresponds to Y. There you go. That's the video. Ciao, main.